I'm Jim Hutchinson with a New Jersey Delaware Bay edition of the Fisherman Magazine here with an early report for you this week to help you celebrate Thanksgiving. And don't forget that first Thanksgiving at Plymouth Colony was not so much just about turkey. It was all about the seafood, mussels, oysters, clams, lobster, and of course striped bass, a staple on the Plymouth Colony menu. I say that to try to give you an excuse, a reason why you should get out this week and take advantage of an absolutely phenomenal striper bite all the way up and down the coast. We've gotten reports of blitz conditions earlier this week, Sunday uh, on Monmouth Beach, blitzing conditions with small striped bass and bluefish. That comes to us from Phil at the Tackle Box. These fish are chasing the bunker from north to south uh, along the beach tsunamis and storms, the swim shads, personally I like the whites, uh, the Daiwa SP minnows, avas and bucktails. Keep yourself armed and at the ready as these fish continue to move themselves, themselves down along the south coast. Day and night bite, chunks of bunker, also clams are working. Edgar Chu checked in with us and found a night bite on his traditional, the conventional bait caster in the surf. Bill Sistad of Brick was out last week, found him and uh, he was in the wash at Island Beach State Park throwing those white swim shads. This week it's going to be a busy week of uh, holiday fishing along the beach in Normandy Beach. Charlie's Bait and Tackle has their Turkey Day tournament. We checked in with, Char uh, with Charlie's early in the week and he said this weekend it was mostly a, a bait bite more than plugs but again as those fish continue to move down the beach chasing the bunker schools you can expect to throw some more of those plastics and those bunker imitations down on lbi same thing mostly a chunk bite bunker in the wash has been doing some damage on some good fish 10 to 20 pound stripers from barnegat light all the way down to beach haven uh, bunker chunks are leading the way in terms of the weigh-ins in the long beach island surf fishing classic that bodes well for the Hutchinson Thanksgiving dinner with Dad's famous striper dip, of course. Uh, that Central Jersey boat bite continues as well. More of those bunker getting harassed, not just by bass, but a beautiful scenery with humpback whales moving through the schools of bunker. Joe and Denise Lero were off Lavalette. They left High Bar Harbor in their boat, and that's where they found them, whacked them last week. And that was Denise's first striped bass. Still relatively quiet, unlike that helicopter, along the beaches of South Jersey as folks are still waiting for a bass bite to materialize along the beach. Although Tony B had some bass success at the south end of Brigantine over the weekend, checked in with the folks at Riptide Bait and Tackle who are lock, stock, and loaded with bunker for the holiday, uh, the holiday weekend. Shelly Jazuski had a 36-inch 15-pound bass in front of Brigantine this week while trawling a Joe Shoots Hoagie Eel Combo Striper, a stinger, uh, a, a striper stinger combo on a mojo rig. More of those mojos, of course. Bob Nicotera, Art DeGeorge, and Leon Del Fugentis showed that those bass are in South Jersey. They whacked them off of Ocean City this past weekend aboard the Bluefin. We did hear of a chunk bite materializing at the 20-foot slough in Delaware Bay. Maybe that bodes well for the 60 as well. That was our hot spot selection of November in the Fisherman Magazine. And yes, you guys in Delaware, embrace the stripers which have just arrived in your neck of the woods as well. Chip Graves and Matt Baker checked in this week. They were trolling white mojos between the eights and overfalls for a brace of fish 16.7 and 15.1 pounds that they brought in to Lewis Harbor, perhaps the leading edge of a good body of stripers to move into your neck of the woods as well. Boats like the Last Lady out of Neptune, the boats out of the Highlands, the Atlantic Highlands, Belmar, Barnegat, AC all the way to Cape May and beyond, they're all fishing for TOG this weekend. Check the reports, go online and see who's sailing. Luis here of uh, was on the Kevin Allman charter with Last Lady Charters and hooked up with the TOG. Good opportunity to get out for the blackfish. Uh, Milt Roscoe let me know that there's a unique bite going on, and we're seeing that in the reports as well. More winter flounder are being caught from those piers and bulkheads. He checked in with us, um, wanted us to see Barry Young. Congratulations, Barry, longtime subscriber to the Fisherman Magazine, making short work of his two fish limit on winter flounder. So that offers a sweet opportunity for the Thanksgiving table as well. A lot of sundials, too. We're getting a lot of sundials. Patrick Schuler uh, snapped a beautiful photo of a sundial that he shared with Betty and Nick's this week. The sack master, John Bouchel himself, let us know that the sand eel bite is underway in the Island Beach area. So get yourself armed with the metals and the tsunami sand eel plastics and the needlefish and the SNS bucktails because it looks like that sand eel bite could materialize soon as well. 
I want to wish you all the best holiday season and especially Thanksgiving. It's all about family, fishing, and football. So get out there, wet a line, enjoy yourselves, and I'll see you on the beach. To receive the latest fishing reports, subscribe to the Fisherman's YouTube page. Click subscribe, then click the settings button and check send me updates. You'll now receive notifications of the latest Fisherman YouTube videos and reports. If you're already a subscriber, make sure you've checked send me updates in the settings so you receive the latest notifications.